rich on earth for our children and our grandchildren. At the conclusion of the World Commission on Environment and Development, 21 years ago, they stated, we are unanimous in our conviction that the security, well-being and very survival of the planet depend on urgent changes. 21 years ago, we've done nothing. So here we are in 2011. What now? This is the moment of truth. This is the awakening of humanity to a new world view. Through the open gateway before us lies the greatest era of connection between human ingenuity and ecosystem regeneration the world has ever seen. And I say an open gateway because all too often when I'm moving cattle, the cattle stand at an open gateway, wondering whether it's safe to go into that paddock. <laughs> as soon as they get a leader, as soon as one leader walks through with confidence, there's almost a stampede because they realise there's a fresh pasture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Above and beyond the politics, above and beyond the views of politicians, scientists, economists and all other separate series of expertise lies the question for every one of us as individuals as to what sort of nation and earth do we want to be responsible for creating for future generations. That's what it's all about. The need for adopting this new world view where we start to understand the earth is demonstrated by the fact that despite all the knowledge that has ever been gathered in the world, we still have a very poor understanding of how landscapes and the world function as a whole. We still have a very poor understanding of the vital role our decisions play in maintaining the vital ecosystem processes that all life depends on. Like that mob of uncertain bullocks, we are staring at the entrance of the open gateway, reluctant to leave our familiar but overexploited grounds unsure whether to venture through that gateway of change to a new world view and an everlasting future. And this is a new world we, I've painted on the map over there. There's an exciting opportunity here for everyone. A new world view which will deliver clean energy and transport, fertile regenerated soils, nutritious health building foods, abundant water cycles and supplies, beautiful eco-designed housing, a stable climate, enhanced conditions for biodiversity, freedom from toxins, shorter working weeks, increased time for family and the arts, cities free from pollution, and peace between nations. Well, there's always a degree of uncertainty with change and what might be waiting on the other side of the gateway. Eventually that leader will emerge out of the mob, walking quietly and confidently through the gateway. Strengthened in confidence by the leader, more and more individuals will follow until finally even the most reluctant individuals will realise the benefits of going through the gateway. Even those rogue animals that are trying to take the crowd off in a different direction. I have mustered plenty of those. His name won't be Mr Rabbit. Barnaby. The gates are now open. We have a decision to make. We can either lead our families and future generations through the open gates of change by adopting a new world view based on ethics and a respect for life, in turn designing a richer future which regenerates the foundations of a healthy planet, or we can continue our primitive mentality of carving up and exploiting the earth at the expense of our grandchildren's future. We should be wary of the motives of cowardly loud outspoken commentators and politicians handing out the stones by which to crucify the honest communicators of change and instead trust our own instincts and observations for establishing a future directive for dealing with problems at their cause. Climate change is not the greatest threat to humanity. The greatest threat to humanity is our own failure to determine a goal for the future we need to create moulding our actions to ensure that we adhere to a directive for achieving that future. By adopting a greater understanding and respect for life and the world as a whole, we can deal permanently and effectively with the challenges of climate change, food security, land and water degradation, extreme droughts and floods, increasing diseases and the greatest extinction rates in the history of the planet. These are in no ordinary times. Welcome to the open gates of the greatest revolution the world has ever seen.